The flying piercing sidekick is the highlight of pattern Chung Mu Tong, the black belt pattern. Traditionally, this was used against horse mounted attackers during battle. But in all the time I've been teaching, this is the one technique that people have struggled to get to grips with the most. So now I'm going to explain why you have difficulty with this technique and how to overcome that problem. So if you're watching what I'm doing in the video here, it's the bit leading up to the flying sidekick, but it's the bit in between the first step and the kick that causes most people problems. I also get comments to say that they find it easy to do it against a pad sideways, but difficult to do it forwards as in Chung Mu. Now the reason for this is entirely on the positioning of the hips, so I'll break it down into chunks and explain. Obviously you have the first step here, but if you look at my hips, my hips are facing squarely forwards. Then with my hips forward, I'm going to lift my other knee up in a straight line to face the pad. Once you're sure you're doing both of those, then add a little jump, but don't worry about the kick too much yet. This next stage is important as it will determine whether you find the kick easy or difficult. Take a look at this position here. With my hips in this position square to the front, doing a kick to my right hand side would be easy, but this would be 90 degrees with the pad and not what you want to achieve in pattern Chung Mu, with a kick in a forwards direction. But this does explain why you would find a kick easier whilst running past the pad and kicking to your right hand side. The only way to rectify this is to get your hips turning completely over to facing the wall on your left hand side so that now the kick can be natural going in a sideways direction as shown here. You can see the similarity in the hip position from the previous step where you would have found it easier to do the kick to the side. So now you can see all the steps put together. First you step, you lift the knee in a straight line through the middle, you rotate the hips and then you throw the kick. So then when you're ready to put more power into the movement, you're going to put a lot of energy into the first step as shown here, so it'll be like the first step of a sprint. Then the opposite knee is going to come up with as much force. You immediately rotate the hips and push the leg out, keeping the legs level and then put the one foot down to land. Finally, take notice of the final position where you're going to keep both legs pointing towards the pad as best you can so that this keeps you off the ground long enough to execute the kick with as much force as you would a normal side kick on a standing leg. Then as a test of accuracy with a brave partner, you can remove the pad and then you know you're ready to perform this in Chung Mu. If this has been useful to you, please do subscribe and uh, hit the like button and leave me any comments for anything else you'd like to see. Thank you for watching.